quality of the data. The election wasn't even close. According to the IBC, we have no data. We won handily with over 2 million votes. Allow me to make a few observations about the data. Yendele. Yendele. First, we carried the traditional strongholds of the coast, western, northeastern, lower eastern, Nyanza, and Nairobi with comfortable, often overwhelming margins. But it was our performance in the Mount Kenya region where we broke all records. The people of the mountain voted for us as they have never done before. I want to take the opportunity to thank the inhabitants of the mountain for giving us an insurmountable margin in the election. According to the IBC whistleblowers and our own internal figures, our opponents beat us all in parts of the Rift Valley, everywhere else across the, 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 this diverse and great land, we build them thoroughly. Hello? We know what happened next at the Supreme Court. A compromise court failed to either declare the true victors and run the elections or order rerun because of the glaring violations of the law and the constitution by the IEBC. The Supreme Court itself was captured by the cartels that had also captured the IEBC. The two most critical institutions to elections in Kenya, that is the IEBC and the Supreme Court was central to the rigging of the 2022 elections. We know that the foreign technology companies contracted by the IBC to run the elections and print the ballots was central to the rigging of the elections. That is why they and the IBC refused to provide us with the servers and the authentic data as well as the election forms. We also noticed with dismay the involvement of some foreign nations in the rigging of Kenya's 2022 elections. In light of the above, here is our client call. Here is our client call. One, first, we as a NEO reject the 2022 election result totally. We, we cannot and we will not recognize the Kenya Kwanza regime and we consider the Kenya Kwanza government illegitimate. Two, two, we don't recognize Mr. William Ruto as the president of Kenya.